Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Replace Normals 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And I don't have anything set up yet. But we're going to check out some normals. So we're going to bring in a shape. And we will make it a cube. Let's go ahead and input that in. And let's resize it. Let's uh, transform it back so it's in our light there. And we'll spin it so we can kind of see it. So just in case you don't know, what normals are, are vectors that determine how the direction of light is going to reflect off of our objects. So if we look at our cube here, and if I go to my controls, and I turn on my normals, we can see we've got these little blue lines that are extending from each vertice of our uh, little cube here. And what I mean by each vertice is if we look at a wireframe, you can see each vertice has a little uh, normal on it. And I can even... Uh, reduce my subdivision so we can see this better. And this is telling Fusion how to reflect light off of this object. So these little blue lines going up and out. So that's our direction of uh, reflection. So when we look at it, turn off wireframe, we have light reflecting. Now, sometimes when we bring in models, or normals aren't quite correct. And to demonstrate that, we're gonna jump into Blender real quick. So we've got our little cube here and we wanna check out our normals. So we're gonna to go to our edit mode. And if I go up here and hit this little square, I can turn on my uh, display split normals, which is what uh, Fusion uses, is split normals. I can even uh, subdivide this up so we get a little more so you can see what's going on. And just so you know, this size right here isn't changing the actual size of your normals. Your normals really don't have a size. They're just uh, changing your display so you can see them better. So we've got our normals. And if we go to uh, mesh, go to our normals, we can flip them. So if we look at our wireframe, we can see now all of our normals are facing inside our uh, little cube here. So these are not correct normals. So our light will not correctly reflect off of our cube. So let's go ahead and export this into Fusion. So file, export, FBX. And we'll jump back into Fusion, and we're going to get rid of our little box. Let's use the FBX Mesh 3D to import or reverse normals FBX. If I bring it into our little composition here, and let's change this to 0 0.01. And I can transform it. You can see we're reflecting light, but it's not correct. I'm just letting you know that's not where the light is actually at. And uh, let's rotate it. So let's jump into our little merge. And let's change this to wireframe so we can see what's going on. And turn our normals on. So you can see our normals are reversed. They're facing in. So our materials and our light and everything is not going to reflect correctly on this cube, on this mesh we brought in. And a lot of times when you have uh, meshes made by other people and you're bringing them in different models, you may have some normals that are incorrect. So because some modelers don't know to make sure your normals are correctly situated and facing, especially when you have complex models. 
So you may have to fix these meshes to fix some of the lighting issues and the material and texture issues. So in order to do that, we have the replace normals 3D node. So I'm going to bring in a replace normals 3D node. And on the node itself, you've got uh, options for normals and tangents. And all we really care about right now is our normals. And we can select this pre-weld position vertices um, if we want. I normally like leaving this checked, especially for complex models, just in case there's some vertices that aren't quite touching and you've got multiple uh, little normals coming off the ends. And that'll fix some of those issues. So we're gonna put that in and we're gonna watch these little blue lines to see what happens. So under our recompute, we can say always, if they're not present, meaning if you import a model without normals, you can uh, do that if you want or never. So if we want to keep the same normals we have from our input, we can select never, but we need to flip our normals cause they're backwards. So we can select flip normals. Now they're facing the correct way. In addition, we can still say if not present and always to recompute those normals. So now if we go to our 3d node, our little wireframe mesh, And if we bring it back, now it's getting lit correctly by that spotlight because our normals are correct. And within here, we have ignore smooth groups also because in some 3D programs, if we go to our edit mode, let me resize that. And if we go down to our geometry over here in Blender, this is where it's located at Blender. We go down to normals. We can select this auto smooth and change our angle if we want. So if this is done within our modeling, if we're in DaVinci, we can say ignore smooth groups and it'll ignore that smoothing if we need to. And additionally, within this node, if you have issues with your uh, tangents, you can recompute them either never, if not present or always, if you'd like and we can flip them on the U and the V if we need to, to fix any issues we have with our UVs. So that is the replace normals 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.